I'm Tracy Panic, historian at Levi Strauss and & Company and director of our archives. In honor of a new store opening in Paris, we're taking a look back at how Levi's arrived in the world's fashion capital. Levi Strauss & Company was born in San Francisco during the California Gold Rush. It offered retail customers across the American West everything from socks and underwear to fabric. In 1873, Levi teamed up with a customer who had a tiny but innovative idea, riveted denim work pants, the original modern blue jean, Levi's 501s. Nearly a century later, the company would begin turning its attention abroad. During World War II, American GIs who dressed in Levi's gave Parisians their first look at the 501. After the war, the modern 501 emerged with its classic straight fit, worn by Americans like rancher Al Armanino. In 1947, Levi's were featured for the first time on a catwalk in Paris at an all-American fashion show where Lady Levi's were modeled by Pat and Priscilla Emery, identical twins from San Francisco. They created quite a stir among couture designers with their cuffed Levi's and cowboy hats. Fascination with the American cowboy in the 50s popularized Levi's, fueled by clubs like the French Corral, who demonstrated their skills near Paris's most iconic locations. By the 1970s, Life magazine would proclaim, the world is blue jean country now, featuring photos of Parisians in Levi's. Today, sites from the historic 1947 fashion show like the King George Hotel with its catwalk or the Palais Tokyo, where the Emery twins were photographed, are just blocks away from the new Levi's store on the Champs-Élysées. We're excited to welcome a new generation of Levi's fans in Paris. Thanks for joining me in the archives.